Tonight, police are hunting for the man they believe killed a San Diego woman while she was visiting Houston. We first brought you this story when Felicia Johnson disappeared nearly two months ago. Now a man is charged with her murder and he's on the run. CBS 8's Anna Laurel joins us with the latest. We can only imagine the anguish Felicia Johnson's family must be feeling tonight. Felicia went to Houston back in April to celebrate her birthday, but she never came home back here to San Diego. Can somebody please find it in their heart to just come forward and just say something? If you know something, say something. That's Felicia Johnson's dad, Kevin, in Texas back in April, searching for his daughter after she disappeared. Tonight, he knows police are now looking for her killer. 28-year-old Chukwibuka Nubodo is charged with Felicia's murder and tampering with evidence. Quanell X has been helping Felicia's family. He says they are all devastated. We need you young sisters to look at these cases like Felicia Johnson and realize that your life can be taken from you in the blink of an eye by some sick-minded individual. These men are kidnapping you and they are killing you. Homicide detectives in Houston say Felicia was seen leaving in a car from this hotel where she was staying in the early morning hours of April 16th. That same day, police say Nubodo was spotted picking her up from an apartment complex and he took her to his apartment. Felicia was reported missing later that day after her bloody phone was found in the road near a park. But it was at Nuboto's apartment where investigators say they found evidence that he killed her. They say he got rid of her personal belongings at the park and disposed of her body. The words her father said to us weeks ago when he did not know his daughter's fate, still true tonight. I'm not going to rest until I find you or find out what happened to you. Felicia's body has still not been found, and authorities around Texas are on a desperate search for her killer. In San Diego, Anna Laurel, CBS 8.